Hey guys, I'm going to be doing a runway fashion smoky eye type of look for you guys today. Um, this past weekend I was involved in a concert and fashion show kind of thing where I helped out with the makeup and modeled as well. They had contacted me and asked if I could do both. At first I thought, you know, can I just do the makeup? I'm modeling really just isn't my thing, you know, like, but they convinced me to do both and so I did end up doing that. Um, this is the makeup that we pretty much kind of did on the models. There were three of us makeup artists and so I thought it'd be fun to recreate that look for you guys. It'd be great, you know, even if you're not going to be modeling on a runway, it's great for like a night out look or something. Just definitely keep in mind that it's more dramatic so that it stands out on stage. So we wore like a traditional Vietnamese outfit. I decided to just wear one of mine today just to kind of get into the spirit um, and also a really fun like party dress. So that was our second outfit that we changed into really quick backstage before we jumped back out onto the runway. I have a little bit of footage from the show that I'll show towards the end. Um, definitely feel free to check that out. And there are also pictures from the event that um, I'm going to link you to in the bottom info bar. So definitely check that out as well. And let's get right into the tutorial. I'm going to vlog a little bit more about the event after this tutorial. Okay, so you just want to start off with a clean face. I'm just going to apply foundation all over my face. And you just want to smooth it out. Make sure you get into the hairline as well as down to the jaw and neckline. I mixed a little bit of MAC Face and Body Foundation into this MAC Studio, Studio Fix Fluid Foundation just to lighten up the coverage. I'm going to apply some concealer now just using Maybelline's Instant Age Rewind Double Face Perfector taking the concealer side and just going underneath the eyes on any spots that need extra coverage. A little bit around the nose area because there's still a little bit of redness there. You want to make sure to smooth that all out. You could use your finger or a brush. Just like I would with my finger, I like to just kind of pat it in using the brush. That works out really nicely. Now your face should already look much more radiant and just even toned. So to make sure you don't sweat or you know oil doesn't make all that makeup slip off, I'm just going to set it with a powder using Max Blot Powder. I'm just going to use my Kabuki brush. You could use any kind of big powder brush if you'd like. And I'm just going to press this into my skin. Make sure to press it underneath the eyes. You really want to set the under eye concealer. Just make sure your makeup doesn't budge throughout the night. Okay, next I'm going to do the brows. Brows are very important. Just don't be afraid to go darker with them. Make sure they're very defined. And this is just Max Shadow and Copper Plate. Alright, notice the difference? You definitely want it to be dark enough so that it frames your face nicely and it shows up as you walk down that runway. Okay, so the eyebrows are done. You could do this later, but I'm going to do this now. I'm going to just put some color back into my face with some bronzer using NYC's Bronzer and Sunny. So I'm just going to start right here, right kind of like underneath the cheekbone area. Just blend that in. Underneath the jawbone, down to the neck a little bit. And just apply some right up here too. Just kind of connect it all across the hairline. Do a little bit on the forehead, a little bit on the chin. Okay, I'm going to prime my lids using Urban Decay Primer Potion. This helps keep your eye makeup lasting longer. And just be sure to smooth that all out. Before I continue, I'm going to dust some loose powder. I'm just going to apply that right underneath my eye. And even a little bit on my nose. And this is going to help catch any fallout since we're going to be working with darker colors. I'm going to use this NYX palette. It's the 10 color eyeshadow palette, the Runway Collection in Champagne and Caviar. And I'm just going to start 
with this color right here by applying this on the inner corner just to bring some light into that area so I just like to pat that in and I'm going to bring it up pretty high so that when I open my eyes I can still see it and then just using the other side of the brush I'm going to go in with this brownish medium color right here and I'm going to apply that to the center part of the lid more so and just kind of blend it in and now I'm going to take this wet n wild palette this is the color icon palette in Greed Gourmandise I'm probably butchering that but I'm just going to use a contour brush such as this one and then go into this matte black color so you can use any matte black shadow this is a very affordable one and then I'm going to start by applying this to the outer corner of the eye and just kind of like blend that in in circular motions such as this and you should feel this sinking right into the socket of your eyeball and I'm just starting off with a very soft wash so I'm just really just blending that in there so you want to start right at the outer corner of the eye closest to the lash line in like circular motions just start blending that in kind of in and upwards just kind of following the curvature of your eye socket and I'm just going to softly blend out the edges as I go too and depending on how you like it you can bring the dark dark color further in to give your crease more definition if you do have a crease or you can kind of create one. I'm going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend out the edges here so it's not a harsh edge. But you don't have to blend it out too much. I just like to soften up the edges. Next, you can take a stiffer flat brush or even a sponge tip applicator like this to really pack on the black color. And I'm going to further define this outer edge area and just really darken it up. So right now I'm just going to pat in the shade. Try not to go too high up. Just keep it more confined in this area right here. And just really work on deepening up the color. So I'm just literally patting in the black. You can use a brush with this if you want, sponge tip applicator. I'm going to take the tip of the sponge tip applicator, apply it into the black, and also go right underneath my lower lash line. And make sure to connect it to the outer edges here. And then just bring it inwards. Okay, I'm going to go back with the contour brush from earlier and just start blending this in a bit. I'm going to take this kind of like matte beige cream color to apply that as my highlight. And you could also use this to help blend down the black if you want using this Makeup Forever Coal Pencil and it's a really pretty black with like golden shimmer to it so I'm just going to line this all across my upper lash line and then I'm also going to line my waterline just rim the entire waterline with the black into the lighter shade that we used earlier just apply that on the inner tear duct area like so. And then I'm going to curl my lashes using my Shu Omer Lash Curler. I'm going to reuse a pair of lashes. So I really couldn't tell you guys what brand and number these are. But definitely go for some thick lashes. Go for length. Um, if you really want an extra, your eyes to really stand out, even layer two lashes on top of each other. That always works out really well. Okay, once you've got the lashes on, go ahead and apply the mascara, pile it on. You want your lashes to appear to appear very thick. 
And also be sure to apply mascara to your lower lashes. Once we're done with the eye makeup, I'm just going to brush away all of that loose powder. But it's pretty much already kind of like absorbed into my skin since it was rice powder, which I like because it's going to help keep this area um, not shiny looking. Keep it from getting oily. I'm going to take this rose colored blush. This is just Jane's Blush and Blushing Petal. And I'm going to apply this at a diagonal angle. Just apply it sort of to the cheekbone area and a little bit to the apples of the cheeks. You don't want to really apply all of it right here. Then I'm going to go with a slight shimmer peachy blush, and this is Jane's Blush in Blushing Earth Sheer. Kind of looks like that. And I'm going to pop a bit of that onto the apples of the cheeks, as well as on the higher planes of my cheekbone. Okay, last but not least, the lips. I'm going to line my lips using this Estee Lauder Lip Liner in Spice Writer. It's a really old one, but I still love it. Oldie but goodie, my Rimmel lipstick in birthday suit. It's just like a neutral brownish kind of color. And last but not least, to finish it off, I'm just going to apply a little bit of lip gloss to the center of my lips. And you're all set. Just kind of fluff up the hair all ready with your wardrobe, and you are ready for the runway. So, you know, as all the models were walking in, we did our dress rehearsal, and we also, you know, practiced walking down the runway. Um, that runway was built by by the, the production themselves, and so it was pretty slippery, and we're all kind of nervous, you know, walking down that runway, just afraid that, you know, we'll trip or something. And guess who is the one who ended up tripping and falling? That's right, me. So yeah, you know, you would think that I, I would end up being really embarrassed, but actually I, I just kind of laughed it off and thought, hey, you know, if anyone's going to trip and fall on their bum, it would be me. So luckily, <laughs> at the actual show, that didn't happen. I'm going to show you this one clip where I'm walking out in my second outfit. Unfortunately, there isn't footage of me walking out in uh, the traditional Vietnamese outfit, which is what I'm wearing right now, um, but I wore a green one for the show. Uh, designed by Tai, Tai Nguyen. He, he's an amazing designer, by the way. We all love the outfits that he's created, but I have some images of that, so I'll show you that. All right, so check me out. <laughs> I'm walking out on the runway. My family was there to support me, and they even like helped film this, so you know, Excuse the shakiness. I think my dad was trying really hard to just work out the camera. But that was definitely an experience. I want to thank 3EM uh, for contacting me and having me. So this past weekend, it was like the first time in a really, really long time that I wore a tra traditional Vietnamese dress, which in Vietnamese is called, excuse my poor Vietnamese, but it's called an ao yai. And that literally translates to shirt long. So ao yai, shirt long. And that's what these are. It's like, it kind of looks like a dress, but it's like a really long shirt and you wear loose flowy pants underneath it. Here, I know some of you guys are going to be curious as to what this whole outfit looks like, so I'm going to stand up and show you the entire outfit. Just hold on. So as you can see, it's a long top and there are slits on both sides. And you kind of keep it together with snaps from the side here. So it's a little bit of a pain to put on, but you it kind of opens out this way. And typically you wear loose pants with it like this. And really high heels. And so that's what that's what this one looks like. But they're all different. You know, there's different kinds of styles, colors, fabrics. Some are like cut off right here.
So don't forget to go below to the bottom bar to click the link to a blog with a bunch of the pictures from that night. I think you guys might enjoy them. Let me know what you think of the pictures. Let me know what you think of the blog post. So that really is about it. I just kind of wanted to do a tutorial and a vlog in one. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that.